It would seem Salisbury can't organise a folk festival, but here in Tisbury they can, and we're here to find out all about it. So warily we swoop through the air, or swim in the sea, skim over the prairie, or skulk on the ground. <laughs> right. John, you're the organiser of this folk festival. How did it come about? Um, really, uh, uh, we just felt that Tisbury needed some music, so we thought we'd, we'd launch into it and raise some money for charity at the same time. It, it's all come together very quickly, and the response from um, friends and other musicians who have come from miles from Dorset and Hampshire, even Cornwall, have come totally free of charge to actually raise money for the hospice in Salisbury, which is, I think, a wonderful thing. We've got well over 50 performers, uh, amateur performers, uh, and then, of course, we've got some very big names coming as well in the folk world. I wasn't really aware of the numbers. Uh, Sarah and Morris have very kindly sort of organised the Morris dancing because I, I, I like Morris dancing but I don't really know how to sort of organise Morris dancing. Um, and uh, they pulled together a fantastic crowd of people and they come from Basingstoke and all over the place for today. And, and it, with the sunshine, just very, very colourful, wasn't it? With the giants as well. Stunning. Yeah, lovely stuff, yeah. If somebody wants to get involved or take part next year, how do they get hold of you? Well, uh, obviously we've got a website, uh, which is www.tisbeefolkfestival.org.uk. Look on the website and within a few weeks of this happening, we'll be organising next year, I think. Big turnout. What a stunning array of performances we've seen here today at the Tisbury Folk Festival. This is Anthony Brownhover reporting from Tisbury for Vision News TV.